Hey there. So today is going to be a slightly different vlog. Uh, today I'm going to go do another movie collection, DVD collection vlog. And today is actually going to be something special for me because today I'm going to tell you guys my the, well the reason you just saw all my horror movies here on my bed is well you know I've I've always well, I've always been a very big horror fan horror person you know I've, I've always loved horror ever since I was a little kid you know movies new books stories you know I, I write horror I actually just hit 30,000 words in one of my horror novels over the weekend for example that I'm currently working on and pretty much you know I mean I, I've never really been too big into horror survival games some reason I, I don't know why myself. You remember like a House of the House of the Dead, the arcade, uh, the arcade game, the arcade game, the House of the Dead is always one of my favorite arcade games ever. Yeah, I just love horror, <laughs> love zombies, and, and well, today, uh, and I, of course, it's obviously what you just saw. You, I, I, you all saw all the horror movies I currently own on DVD or Blu-ray. And I'm not going to go through each one naming them. Uh, if, you, if you want to see which ones I own specifically, uh, you can get, kind of go back and pause the video if you need to um, during the lineup. But today, I'm going to do something a little special. In that, I'm going to, today I decided to tell you guys, well, of all the movies I own on DVD or Blu-ray that are horror, what do I consider to be my, my top five favorite horror movies I own, that I currently own? And that is what I'm going to tell you guys today. Yep, that's right. Today I am picking picking my top five favorite movies, horror movies I own, and I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'll say probably what I consider my favorite one for last. Otherwise, no particular order. So first up, first up is The Lost Boys. Yeah, childhood favorite vampire movie. Yeah, um, I remember. It's just like I always say, it seems like it was somehow everything leads back to her. But I remember uh, me and Chica talking about this once. How back when, uh, well, back when Chica was uh, working as a uh, undertaker mortician at her old job, uh, we were we were we were talking uh, one one day one night, like when we were at it, like we were like our usual sending each other private messages you know, while she was working like overnight and all that, and. Well, she was saying one day how, you know, like, so, so how, like, oh, usually, I, you know, it's normal for me to, like, you know, be, like, to be awake at night and have to, have to sleep throughout the day or whatever, and, and she was like, well, you know, I got, uh, well, I'm, I'm a vampire, and I, I was, I kind of jokingly said to her, well, wait a minute, if you're a vampire, are you the sparkling, twinkling, tw twilight kind of vampires, or are you the cold lost voice type vampire? Can say we have to know these things, and she said, and Chica was like, <laughs> Chica replied. I remember Chica replied with, "Lost Boys, of course. Twilight's crap for girls attracted to glitter." Hallelujah! <laughs> I remember I kind of joked with her like about doing something like that. Or, <laughs> like I sent her like this GIF in this video where like the GIF was like this little boy that was excited about something. He's like, <laughs> you know, he just couldn't believe his eyes ears or whatever and then like this sound effect like you know, this god speaking sound effect you can find on YouTube I was like that this may or may or this may or may not be me right now <laughs> I just always I was just thinking about that now I, I, as soon as I looked at this I thought about that memory of Chica yeah <laughs> so yeah Lost Boys though. another another memory I have of this movie is actually the first time I ever watched this movie uh, was back in the early 2000s I was just, I was maybe 15 at the time, and I was uh, spending the night with uh, one of my friends. It was like his birthday, and it was like basically him and one other friend of ours named Michael. Yeah, same Michael I have mentioned in the past. But, and we, we, we basically, I ended up buying this on VHS at Blockbuster, and we were watching the movie. And there, there's a scene in the movie where, like, uh, you know, like the main one of the main characters, like, you see like his bedroom, and there's like these posters of like you know, these guys all over his wall and 
I just remember all of a sudden just out of the blue my, my friend Sean is like, I guess he has to eat posters of half naked men in his room. <laughs> it was just like, just, it was just so, you know, I'm like, <laughs> it was just so random. Uh, I just, I remember like, uh, you know, just, it was just so random, like he would ask that. Um, <laughs> that's just another memory I have of this, uh, this movie. But yeah, I mean, I always love that movie a lot. I never have actually seen the sequels, though. Uh, but, you know, it's a pretty decent uh, vampire flip, though. Uh, next up is another movie I saw when I was in junior high. First saw when I was in junior high, and that is... That's Killer Clowns from Outer Space, another one of my top five favorite movies that I own. It's hard. I first saw this, I believe I was 13. Uh, my first year in middle school, junior high, whatever. Saw it on TV late one night. Uh, I hear, I hear they're making, I hear, I hear they're making, they're supposed to be like making sequels to this or something, but I've never heard anything else about it though. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So I don't know if they're still making it or. I don't know. I mean, if anybody knows, uh, let me know. <laughs> uh, next up, you may uh, some people may be kind of surprised to see this on, on my list, considering well, this is a, it. It's not. It's kind of in a weird place where it's not exactly hated, but it's not exactly. You know, people are like, yo, well, it doesn't do the book justice whatsoever. But next up on my list of top five. Favorite, my top five favorite horror movies is Stephen King's It, the 1990 Me adaption. Yeah, I, I, yeah I heard, so they are making a, uh, well, they are making a new version of this. That's supposed to be like a bigger budget. I uh, really haven't looked much into that though, but <clears throat> yeah, Stephen King's It, the 1990 miniseries is one of the movies I own that I consider one of my five favorite horror movies. And, well, there's a movie I actually had. It actually has a special place in my heart, loving heart for me, in that uh, this was actually the very first horror movie that I, I ever saw, like, ever. Uh, I was four years old, it was 1990, and I, I, and I really don't remember much of watching it, though. I, I honestly don't even know if I watched the whole movie. I probably did, but... I, 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 there's like one scene, like, I, it always has, has always stuck out in my mind, though, from, from that time period. Like the one scene I remember, I, I vividly remember seeing when I was four years old of it was the scene where Ben is near the sewer, sewer entrance, and uh, and basically uh, it appears to him, you know, as his father who died in Korea, and like you, know, then he turns into a skeleton, like he's on his wound. And everything. That's always the, that's always been the scene I, I remember. I vividly remember from when I was four years old watching this. Yeah, I just I, I mean I just always love I mean I have just always loved this 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 movie um, even though it's de definitely not the best movie ever but you know yeah it's like the first horror movie I ever saw so uh, next up um, is another childhood favorite of mine and that is Gremlins of course there's only a three movie pack so excuse the other two. Uh, Gremlins, I do also consider to be one of my five favorite movie horror movies that I currently own. Definitely one of my favorite horror movies and everything. But this is another movie that I actually saw that same year as it. Uh, so again, yeah, I was four years old the first time I saw this, and there, there's a memory I have of this movie that I, every time I think of this movie, I think of this memory, and I always, I always laugh, small. I, I always love to tell people this memory of this movie I have. So yeah, I was four years old the first time I saw Gremlins, and it was it was around Christmas 1990 when I first saw it, like on TV. And well, if you've seen the movie, you, you probably remember that there's one scene in the movie where uh, the Gremlins are hiding in the like uh, the main character's Christmas tree, and like the mother, and they're kind of pretty much at the point where they're they're the gremlins are doing their thing but so like the mother is kind of like you know by herself in the house and she's kind of like you know looking around and she has like a knife butcher knife in her hand you know to protect herself and she's kind of just like looking around trying to see where they are and, 
And like it turns out they're hiding in the Christmas tree, and which gets, and it turns out that they're hiding in the Christmas tree, and of course, and then like the mother gets close to the tree, the, the gremlins toppled up, toppled the Christmas tree over her own the mother, and the gremlins start attacking her. And when I was four years old, that that scene just absolutely terrified me. <laughs> like, and after I saw that. I remember I, I was I honestly good as was terrified to go near my Christmas tree because somehow I, I guess I had gotten it into my mind that the gremlins were hiding in my Christmas tree and if I got close to it then they were they were gonna jump out and eat me. And I, I just I refused to get near my Christmas tree when I was four years old for like a brief period. And I, I must have I guess I must have said something about it to my parents or, or something, I, I don't know. Because, like, the next thing I can remember is my father holding me and me and him staying next to the Christmas tree. I, I remember, like, looking through the Christmas tree. Yeah, seeing, like, and then, like, seeing, like, there was no gremlins hiding in my Christmas tree ready to eat me. And I was good to go, I guess, after that. <laughs> That's one of those memories, like I said. I just, I just, every time I think about gremlins, I think about that memory. I just have to laugh. And that brings me to the last horror movie on this list. That this is, I well, I'll get into that in a moment. Uh, last up is actually a movie that's sort of a homage to like the B, B movies from monster B the B monster movies from the fifties and such. Another movie that came out in nineteen ninety. Seems like nineteen ninety is well represented in this list. But basically. The last movie on this list is Tremors. Sorry, Kevin Bacon, Fred Ward, and Michael Gross. And as well as Ruben McIntyre and Carter. Now this is another movie I, I pretty much grew up loving. I've been a fan of this movie here since I was probably like four or five years old. And I, I, I do consider this to be my favorite horror movie of all time, believe it or not. I mean, it's something that, I mean, I, I, that was a very big debate for me for years. Well, if I had to say what would I consider to be my favorite horror movie, I think eventually, I'm not sure exactly what it was, but eventually I did decide on Tremors. Because I just have always loved this movie so much. And one little cool factoid for you guys uh, that was pretty cool for me is, you know, the woman who plays uh, Rhonda in the movie, Finn Carter. Well, fun little fact for guys is that she actually was born she actually was born and grew up in a city that's about 30 minutes away 30 miles away from where I live right now and I actually even used to live in myself but yeah Finn Carter is actually from a city named Greenville Mississippi I found that out like several years back and I was like wow seriously how, how could I never know that as much as I've always loved that movie I'm kind of surprised I, I, I never that until just relatively recently. But yeah, I mean, uh, Tremors though has always been like one of my one of my most top five, one of my most top favorite movies ever. I've always loved this movie. Uh, it's, it's just fun to watch. I mean, it's, that's the thing. I mean, it's one of those movies. I think you know, you just grab some popcorn and you just sit back and have some fun. You know, it's one of those kind of things. You know, one of those kind of movies. It's always a good thing. I don't uh, I don't own any of the sequels on DVD. I've always been kind of iffy with the sequels, to be honest with you. The second one is alright. The second one I like well enough. The third one, which I had on VHS in one point, it's okay, I guess. The fourth one, you know, it's not a bad movie. It's just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just never really thought exactly you know, extremely highly of the sequels. Not like I do with this one. I'm not sure what it is, to be honest with you, but I don't know. I was here. I heard at one point they were doing like a fifth movie that like they were gonna bring they were gonna bring back Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward in it. Then I, I've been hearing something about them like rebooting the, the Tremors TV series and Kevin Bacon was gonna was gonna do it or something. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's what I've been hearing. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's my top five favorite horror movies that I own. Well. Real quick, I wanted to do a few audible mentions, though. Uh, movies I almost went with. I picked up the wrong movie. Just a moment. OK, 
Okay, so honorable mentions is going to be four movies. Uh, the original Gone with the Dead. My favorite of the of the Dead movies. Uh, Ernest Scared Stupid, which, to be honest with you, I have a hard time thinking of this as a horror movie. As much as I do, it's a comedy movie with horror elements, but comedy horror, whatever. I mean, yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. Definitely my favorite Ernest movie. And I don't have the I don't have both of these movies uh, as individual movies, so I'll just show the question version of it. But uh, and last two honorable mentions are Puppet Master Four and Puppet Master Five, which were my personally my favorites of the franchise ever since I was a little kid. So, well, there you have it, my top five favorite movies and horror movies and my four honorable mentions. So. If you guys ever do a video like this, you know, let me know and I'll check it out. I'm always interested in knowing things like this. I enjoy, you know, always enjoy watching them too. That said, well, thanks for watching and 